For decades, astronomers have been looking for proof of intelligent alien life beyond Earth, but haven't found any just yet. But new technology and a promising recent deten detection of a signal near the closest star system to our own is giving space explorers new hope. With more on this, CTV science and technology expert Dan Riskin joins us this morning. And this Saturday, Dan is hosting a special episode of CTV's W5 on life beyond Earth. Dan, good morning to you. I got a sneak peek of this. It is absolutely fascinating. So let's talk about this signal that was detected and where. Yeah, so there are a whole bunch of telescopes pointed at the sky listening on frequencies where we think an alien signal would come. And one of those is in Australia. And in 2019, in April, uh, it was pointed at Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to Earth. It's 4.2 light years away. So if a signal were sent from there, it would take four years to get to us, which in space terms is actually, well, that's as close as you can get and be at another star. They got this signal uh, in, in April 2019, and it was a pure tone at, uh, at 982 megahertz. It was like a whistle. And so they're taking this apart, trying to figure out what that noise was. Was it really a signal from space or was it some kind of interference from something here on Earth? Now, that telescope had, a, had an embarrassing uh, event happen in the past where they found a signal. And it turned out to be the microwave oven in the lunchroom. If you open <laughs> it before the food is cooked, it actually sets off the telescope. So they've checked the, micro or the telescope uh, and they've checked the microwave to make sure that's not at this time. But they're still looking at the signal to see whether maybe that might be the signal we've been waiting for. What kind of technology are they using to do that? Well, they've got the big radio telescope, but what's really changed in the last couple of decades is the, is the advent of sort of understanding exoplanets. And exoplanets are, you know, planets that go around something other than our sun. They go around other stars. And exoplanets are probably the best place to look for life. And so why point the telescope at just random stars when you can point the telescope at a, a star that we know has planets going around it in Earth-like positions? And here's the part that gives me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Proxima Centauri, that star that the signal came from, that it has an exoplanet that's in an Earth-like orbit. So it's a great candidate as a place where maybe an alien civilization would be sending signals. And when we talk aliens specifically, you talked to an octopus expert researcher. I thought this part was really, really interesting. How does that relate to aliens? Well, if you're expecting a signal from something alien, you have to think how alien might this signal be? And, and a great place to start when you're thinking about how different a life form might see the world is to look at intelligent life here on Earth. Octopus are intelligent, but wow, they're different from us in so many ways, not least of which is the fact they just don't even have a skeleton and they have like nine brains and there's mm -hmm. a whole bunch of different things about them that are weird. But if you just take the example of light, we use light to communicate. And for us, color is really important. But octopus... They don't see color, they see the polarization of light, which is something we can't even imagine. We don't see that at all. And so if we were using light to communicate with these beings that are already on Earth, using light, we might miss each other altogether. And so that really draws home just how hard it is to listen properly when you have no idea what the sender is going to be sending. Is there life out there and will we find it in our lifetime? That's the question, isn't it? And and I think that it, it's uh, we're getting closer. I mean, we, the technology is improving at an incredible rate. You can't find something that isn't there. And there might be a lot of alien life that's just too far away to reach us. But there's there's a real hope among the people that study this stuff. They've built their whole careers into this. And there's hundreds of millions of dollars put into this search. And so uh, there's, there's as good a chance as there's ever been. And our search is going better than ever. It is an absolutely fascinating watch. Everyone has to tune in. Dan Riskin, thank you so much. You don't want to forget to watch the thank special. You. Dan is hosting the special episode of W5 on Life Beyond Earth this Saturday, 7 p.m. on CTV. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.